What's up you guys, it's me Sai back with another video. This is just a quick update on what's been going on. I just did the Sheen haul, just randomly. I'm, I might be working with Sheen soon. I don't know yet. We'll see if I have the time. But this jacket's from Sheen, I just got the other day. I'm on lunch right now, I'm having a salad. Um, and then I have to go for appointment soon. And that's gonna be all my tasks for today. So updates on the van. Today I passed a mission. Yay! I live here in the Midwest, so we have to take a mission. I'm not sure where you guys live in, but I have to take a mission. I passed. I failed the very first time because it was rejected. Usually when you take your car in for a mission and it's been sitting for a while, or usually when something was reset or a battery was replaced, it resets the whole system. That means it doesn't have history of you driving it. So the machine rejects it. So I drove it for a total of four days excuse me and um um it finally passed i got the exhaust fix yesterday that was 250 dollars we got an oil change today it has its first oil change you guys i went to this cheap place called take five oh my god oil changes have gone up in price over the years i remember when i used to take my car in for these quick loop places it used to be $30 now it's like $60 $60 for the basic um but then again it's been a while since I actually took my my car into a, one of these quick loop places because I usually do it myself and I'm probably going to do my own oil changes for this car after this um with uh with the warm season coming up in I don't know how long three four months from now but got the oil change. Next thing I'm gonna replace on this thing and I'm probably gonna film is um, the shocks and struts because the struts, shots, the shot, shocks and strut on this car is horrible. It feels like I'm riding on rocks the entire time. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna take a quick bite here. Mmm. I've been trying to find motivation to work on this car. So, backstory why I'm in this car. I was going to have it sit for another winter. And then I was actually going to start working on it this spring. I prop That was like one of my New Year's resolutions to actually start working on the van. I started this whole series of working on the van. And then I quit. And then, like, it's in conclusion, you know what I mean? So, I want to start working on it. Last year, I was doing so much other stuff. And... I want to take time off and just have fun, you know what I mean? And take time off to work on my little project instead of just work, 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 everything. It's like work. I'm just waking up and feeling like I'm working all the time. And it could be overwhelming, you know? So my New Year's resolution is to finish this van by the end of summer and maybe take my first trip when it gets colder. Um, I don't know where I want to go yet. If you guys have been intrigued with my van journey and you want to give me some ideas where i should go i feel like i'm gonna take base baby step because even like in in my own car the furthest i've ever been was um chicago that's it and no one's doing van life in chicago i think chicago is the worst city to van life there's horrible parking a lot of break-in and lord knows i'm not trying to sleep in this van all of a sudden i wake up and there's someone right below my feet trying to um uh, scavenge through all my stuff right so yeah, that's a little update. Uh, I'm driving the van because the BMW died and the BMW has been such a pain and you know what. So if anyone's watching this, unless it's, unless you actually can, like, if like money, you're throwing money around like guac, BMWs, I personally feel are designed to break. So you can pay them. They're, maybe they're designed to race on the track. Who knows? But they break often. I think that car alone has been in the shop four times within this past year. And now it's sitting in the garage. And I'm waiting for the mechanic to have time to get in it. And on top of that, you guys, there be a wait line. There be a wait list for a BMW specialist to actually work on your car. It's not like these 
normal cars like a Chevy or a Honda where you can just go anywhere it's fixed but you need a like a, a European uh, car specialist to actually touch these cars otherwise if someone doesn't know what they're doing you you're probably gonna end up ruining your car but it won't go into gears it's stuck in the garage so tomorrow it gets towed I've been waiting a month you guys to get in so hopefully they give me some good news and it's just like a thousand dollar repair or something because baby if it's three thousand dollars baby that car going right to the junkyard you have cost me way too much money and i think i've spent over five thousand dollars on it this past summer that's a lot of money that's like almost more than it's worth you know so that's what's happening right now and i'm so great for this for this van i wasn't gonna bring it out i actually had a rental for a whole week you guys went through enterprise and got this uh um chevy spark chevy flash or something it's a small little nugget car got me around i missed it when i returned it i was like oh, i love this car it's so small and it fit everywhere in the city but i got the van now thanks to my dad but uh, he put together back everything because this whole in front end was gutted out like the interior it had no seats you know i made a video on me cleaning the seats but i never installed it and one day i came over strapped some food off to my parents house and like everything was put together the car is running i was like what are you doing he was like, I got it running for you. And he had the plates on. So that was really nice of my dad. So shout out to my dad for that. So that's a little update on the van. You know what I mean? If I, if, if the BMW ends up costing too much, I might just tell him not to work on it and then just get it towed to a storage lot until winter. I mean, summer comes and maybe I'll part it out or something. But I'm hoping it's just like a, a very cheap fix i'm praying to god because it happens overnight you know what i mean my car was driving fine i parked in the garage and the next morning i woke up i literally had no reverse so all right so, so i just want to hop on here update you guys on the van for those that are interested in my van life and i'm still doing it at first i was trying to sell it but i was like you know you need to finish this um it's something you could do during the summer to get your mind off of everything else so that's my little update on my van. Got the hardwood floors back there. I just went shopping too. Anyways, guys, uh, nice talking to you guys. Until the next van vlog.